Hey there, it's Cheryl, mental toughness coach, published author, speaker, and mother to a couple of great kids who happen to be now high school and college division one student athletes. Today we're going to talk about one secret that teens need to know about high performance. I'd like you to consider this. Whenever a teen has a thought, they're talking to themselves. And further, think about from a very young age, we teach our kids how to talk to us parents, how to talk to their siblings, how they should talk to their teachers, their grandparents, and other people in their lives. But do we teach them how to talk to themselves, especially when they want to achieve something that's very important to them? Their self-talk or their internal voice really matters, and it's going to have an effect on whether they keep making progress, they stay about the same, or if they get incredibly frustrated and maybe even want to quit something. Their internal voice or self-talk is incredibly important. It can serve as a friend to them. It can serve as a mentor who believes in them 100%. If a teen can have effective self-talk, it's almost like them having an Olympic mindset. It's like them having that tool so they can do their best, especially when it really matters to them. There's a couple tips that I'd like to share for parents and coaches so they can encourage the best self-talk for their teen. And really the big secret here is that teen self-talk it needs to be in a resilient voice. That is the big secret. But before I get into explaining what having a resilient voice is, I'd like to talk very quickly about what it isn't. Having a resilient voice doesn't mean having a setback or a disappointment and discounting it and trying to just move past it. That doesn't work and that doesn't mean being resilient. What resilient means is for teens to understand and be very aware of what they're feeling in a moment. They need to understand that whatever they're feeling, it's okay. That's the first step in being resilient. That's recognizing how they're feeling and then understanding it's okay. Then they need to take a step back and think of what they're gonna do to make progress and make a conscious decision to move forward. So having that resilient voice and telling themselves, hey, I'm feeling this way, it's okay, and I'm making a conscious decision now to make progress, even though I had a rough go of it for a while, if that's the case. So. Consider this, two tips for parents or coaches to help teens to have a resilient voice. One is encourage your teen to celebrate their wins, no matter how big or how small. A lot of times, teens only celebrate the big things. It might be scoring the goal, or it might be you know, contributing to a, winning a game or getting an A on a test. But how about if they have a 25 minute block of time and they really crushed it and they were focused and they really mastered some information or maybe they had an amazing pass in soccer. So really encourage your team to celebrate the wins no matter how great or how small. And then the second thing is, is that for parents to empathize with them and let teens know, hey, I get it and I understand you and that's okay. And then finally, to really challenge them and say, I get that you're disappointed, that you're upset, and that is a bummer that that happened, but I'm gonna challenge you to make progress. And how do you think, what's one or two things that you can do? Because I have 100% faith in you that you can get better. So I hope that makes sense. Really the big secret here is to encourage teens to have a resilient voice. And if they can do that, they're gonna be well on their way to making consistent and steady progress, even in light of a couple setbacks. So if you found this information helpful, I encourage you to share it on Facebook or pass it along. I'm here to help any way I can. Please feel free to reach out to me. I look forward to your teen being awesome.